33-day consecration to Jesus through Mary, day 10 of 33, Imitation of Christ, Book 3, Chapter 10, that it is sweet to despise the world and to serve God. Now will I speak again, O Lord, and will not be silent. I will say in the hearing of my God and my King who is on high, Oh, how great is the abundance of thy sweetness, O Lord, which thou hast hidden for those that fear thee. But what art thou for those who love thee? What to those who serve thee with their whole heart? Unspeakable indeed is the sweetness of thy contemplation, which thou hast bestowest on those who love thee. In this most of all hast thou showed me the sweetness of thy love, that when I had no being, thou didst make me. And when I was straying far from thee, thou brought me back again, that I might serve thee, and thou hast commanded me to serve thee. O fountain of everlasting love, what shall I say of thee? How can I forget thee, who has vouchsafed to remember me, even after I was corrupted and lost? Beyond all hope thou showest mercy to thy servant, and beyond all desert hast thou manifested thy grace and friendship. What return shall I make to thee for this favor? For it is granted to all who forsake these things to renounce the world and to assume the monastic life. Is it much that I should serve thee, whom the whole creation is bound to serve? It ought not to seem much to me to serve thee, but this does rather appear great and wonderful to me that thou vouchsafest to receive one so wretched and unworthy as thy servant. It is a great honor, a great glory to serve thee and to despise all things for thee, for they who willingly subject themselves to thy holy service shall have great grace. They shall experience the most sweet consolation of the Holy Spirit, who for the love of thee have cast aside all carnal delight. Veni Creator Come, O Creator Spirit blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Great Paraclete, to thee we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O font of life, O fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known, the finger of God's hand we own, the promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power endow. Kindle our senses from above and make our hearts overflow with love. With patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive by the foe we dread and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not, with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside. O oh, May thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit blessed. All glory while the ages run, be to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, the same to thee, O Holy Ghost, eternally. Amen. Ave Maris Stella Hail, bright star of ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest. Taking that sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eva's name. Break the captive's fetters, light on blindness pour, all our ills expelling, ever bliss implore. Show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us thy infant. Hear our prayers through thine. Virgin, all excelling, mildest of the mild, freed from guilt, preserve us, pure and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our ways secure, till we find in Jesus joy forevermore. Through the highest heaven to the Almighty Three, Father, Son, and Spirit, one same glory be. Amen. Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. 
because he hath regarded the humility of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. Because he hath that is mighty hath done great things to me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is from generation to generations to them that fear him. He hath showed might in his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. He hath put down the mighty from their seat and hath exalted the humble. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath received Israel, his servant, being mindful of his mercy. As he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be, world without end. Amen.